What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here and it's Top 10 Thursday. Over the course of the last year, this channel has gained a lot of subscribers. And one question I keep seeing over and over again in the comments is, how can I be a gaming YouTuber? Well, starting out can be a little bit complex, so I figured I'd give you some opening advice to help you get started. So this week, I'm counting down my Top 10 Tips for Becoming a Gaming YouTuber. Number 10. Be Unique. There are already thousands upon thousands of gaming YouTube channels, so if you really want to stand out, you have to do something that nobody else is doing. For example, if you're doing a Let's Play, start out by playing games not a lot of other YouTubers have covered. If you're doing reviews, maybe start off by trying out something really obscure, something that nobody else has heard about, that way if they stumble on your video, it's entertaining and it makes them want to subscribe. Number 9 have a professional look. One of the strangest things about being a YouTuber is that there's not really a training manual for it. You just have to try and experiment and find out what you like. But one thing that'll really make you look good is if you already have a professional look. Having a good microphone and a good way to record gameplay helps, but there's also smaller, more subtle things like actually having a header on your YouTube channel. You want people to think, wow, this is really high quality the second they click your video. Number 8. Likes matter more than views. When you're first beginning, any traffic is good traffic, but you want to try and engage your audience. You want to try and hook them in so they'll keep coming back to watch future work. By closely monitoring the likes on each video, you can see what content people enjoy the most and what they want to see more of in the future. If you make a video called Justin Bieber gets attacked by a bear, it may get 10,000 views, but you'll notice it may only have 2 likes. Instead, it's a lot more important to have a video that has 300 views, but 100 likes. That shows that you're clearly entertaining your audience. Number 7. Treat your subscribers like your friends. Once you've put out a few videos and you start getting subscribers, this is where one of the most important things comes in. If people are commenting, respond to them. Listen to their feedback. When I first started out, I had a really bad problem of starting out a lot of sentences with the word now, as in, now we're moving into the next area. Now I'm going to be telling you about this. This really annoyed a few of my early viewers, and they made a point to correct me. Now, it was very hard to stop this habit, but once I did, I immediately noticed that people were actually responding a lot more clearly to my videos. If you see people suggesting a video idea and it sounds like something that'd be fun to make, definitely do it. This whole series of Top 10 Thursday is built upon the awesome ideas of my friends. Subscribers give me the motivation to keep making these episodes week after week. Number 6. Good editing goes a long way. One of the hardest skills to pick up is editing, but this is something that's very vital if you ever want to make it really big. Don't expect to make this crazy masterpiece right out of the gate. It's all about practice. Start with small things, make a let's play, and cut out all the dead silence. Instead of having a 30 minute long let's play where you're beating a single level of Mario, instead, take it down to just the funniest 5 minutes. Make it something that somebody can watch on a lunch break and absolutely love. When it comes to reviews, I'll actually read every line 4 or 5 times into the microphone and cut it down to just the absolute most stellar takes of each line. This editing isn't extremely complicated, but it makes the entire experience a lot more smooth. Number 5. Promote your videos properly. If you go to the comments section of any major YouTuber, you're bound to see people begging for attention, asking you to check out their latest video or to see their channel. This is not a good way to advertise yourself. Instead, try and find a community and start to talk to them directly. For example, there's a big game coming out in a few weeks called The Division. Those forums are extremely active. You should go there, talk to people, make friends, and when the game comes out, maybe make some tutorial videos so that everybody starting out can enjoy your work. Something like this will give you a safe space in order to experiment with your different types of editing, and it'll also give you very clear feedback from people you're already familiar with. Number 4. Use your keywords wisely. 
When you're uploading a video, this box appears that lets you put in keywords. This is an incredibly vital asset that you need to learn to use. These are my good friends Craigslist Game Finds. This is a YouTube channel where they go around and find cool cheap games and tell you about them. In this episode, they actually searched several different flea markets and then tested out a Sega Master System. For the keywords, they could put in the title of all the different games that they spotted, and also things like pickups, good deals, crazy finds, and gameplay. At the very end, since they played that Sega Master System, they could put in the words Sega Master System. That way, people who are wanting to see exactly how it works could also see this video where they got one for a great deal. This keyword box determines where you're going to show up in Google results. So if you're doing a review or you're doing a Let's Play, you want to be very specific as to what's going to be in your video so that people can find it. Number 3. Passion always wins. One mistake I see a lot of early YouTubers make over and over again is that they'll actually try and play what's popular instead of what they like. I'll see people trying to play the latest horror game or the latest Call of Duty even though they hate it. Instead of playing what they love, they're just trying to play what'll get them some views. This is the complete wrong thing to do. Instead, talk about what you're most passionate about. For example, I am in love with Final Fantasy. Not only do I own all of them, I've beaten all of them, and I've written a lot of very popular videos about this amazing series. In fact, I could talk about them all day long. Because of that, when I make a video about it, people want to watch it, and they share it a lot more often, because they can see how excited it makes me. If you show off what you know most about, people are going to flock to try and watch it, and it's going to get a lot more engagement than if you're just talking about the latest hot topic. Number 2. Keep an Upload Schedule I've been doing work on YouTube for years, and I was always getting subscribers here and there, but when things really started to explode is when I started doing Top 10 Thursday. This did two things. People who enjoyed my work now knew exactly when the next one would be going up, and people who were just stumbling upon my work now had an exact backlog of stuff that they could watch back through. If you're doing reviews, try and have it up at the same time each week. Or if you're doing Let's Plays, record a bunch at once and chop it into separate episodes that'll go live once each day. That way, even if people miss an episode or two, when they have a day off, they can watch back through all of it and have a great time. You want your subscribers to see you as dependable, as a part of their week, something that they can actually talk about to their friends. I've even had people tell me on Twitter that they actually look forward to Thursdays is because of my goofy videos. Number one, start now. This is by far the most important thing of all. If you want to be a gaming YouTuber, the key is to begin today. Not tomorrow, no excuses. Literally, I want you to make a video today. Even if it's just you with a cell phone, filming something that you really like to talk about. Tell us about World of Warcraft. Tell us about Mario Kart. Tell us about your latest cool find at work. Let us know what you love. The world really wants to be entertained, and what we all need to be doing is creating that next cool thing. If you delay, if you make excuses, that's one more day that you're not making great videos. I hear it all the time. Well, I don't really have a capture card. I don't have a good microphone. That doesn't matter. Right now, you need to practice. You need to get used to chopping up videos. You need to get used to putting them up on time. The sooner you start putting out videos, the sooner people can start stumbling upon them and sharing them with their friends and enjoying your content. No excuses, no delays. You should honestly begin today. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. This has been Dreamcast Guy with another episode of Top 10 Thursday. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. And I'm really sick. I'm sorry my voice sounds bad this week. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.